This is a story of a powerful institution and of the ruined lives of those who worked for it, after the post office blamed its own sub-postmasters for stealing. Like Jo, accused of taking £36,000 from the village shop she ran in Hampshire, when in fact the computer system was at fault. She's one of thousands fighting for compensation. It's just taken forever and my heart aches for the people that aren't here anymore. People that have committed suicide and people that have died, convicted. It's just awful. And family members, my parents aren't here to see, they weren't here to see my name cleared. And um, th you, can't, the, you can't put a price on what they've done to people. 72 of the 736 sub-postmasters who were convicted have now had those convictions quashed. Today, the post office's boss appeared in front of MPs, admitting they will probably all be overturned. But he said this on camera for the first time. On behalf of the post office, we are extremely sorry. He continued. So as you can probably appreciate, over the sort of 20-year period um, which this applies to from 1999 right the way through to today, um, there is an enormous amount of complexity associated with making sure we get absolutely right how we compensate those postmasters. He vowed to offer compensation to over 2,000 people by the end of the year, but over 500 who first exposed the scandal aren't currently entitled to claim. The business minister told MPs this is his top priority, and campaigners are fighting on. I will be meeting uh, his officials uh, on the 19th of January, and I'll be looking them straight in the eye to find out are they serious in backing up the minister's words with actions, because thus far, there is very, very little trust that they will. It is one of the biggest miscarriages of justice in UK history, and it is still far from resolved. Tessa Chapman, Five News.